470,000 Denny. I got an email a little while back inviting me to do a TEDx talk in Wrigleyville in August. And I was so excited to have this opportunity. I immediately said yes and started writing and writing and then started freaking out because I felt like I didn't have anything to say. TEDx reached out to me on recommendation from somebody from a film festival I'd gotten to. So I knew that whatever I was gonna talk about, it was gonna be related to the short film I just made recently, which I know I've pitched so many times on this channel, but in case you don't know, it is a short film called Our Transition, where I tell the story of my transition as a youth through the perspective of my parents. And I knew it needed to, in some way, shape, or form, be a part of this talk. I realized I had two paths. I could go down the queer path of talking about my transition and trans youth, family support, things of that nature. But that felt a little redundant, especially because that's what the film is already kind of doing. So the other route was the behind the scenes creative route. And while that was a conversation that got me really excited, it was also one I was really, really nervous to talk about. I still feel really new to this field, and I know that there's a lot I don't know. I started falling into that pit of asking the question, why me? I felt that in a lot of ways, making this short had been a process of continually stumbling upwards. I made a lot of mistakes along the way. I didn't really have a consistent through line or creative process. Like, I still don't, I'm still learning how to do this whole thing but I tried my best to make a talk about the power of telling your own story. And I thought maybe I could take the lessons I learned from trying and failing and trying again in making this film and turn it into something other people could learn from. And so I wrote and I rewrote and I practiced and memorized, and I was feeling pretty confident with my ability to recite and perform the piece thanks to a few years of theater in high school. But I was still feeling really inadequate with the idea itself. And I don't think that inadequacy went away until the day of. I spent the first half of the morning pacing around the green room, trying not to freak out, reciting my speech, and saying hello to some of the other speakers. And I met a lot of really interesting people. My speech was the last talk in the first half of the day, and I went up, proceeded to black out the whole experience, and I think I did good and I walked off stage. My friends said I did great, so thanks guys. And then for the second half of the day, I was finally able to sit in the audience. And what I saw was a pattern that maybe should have been more obvious to me before I went to this talk, but either way, it was becoming clear to me now. Pretty much everybody started with an experience they had, broke into that, found the vulnerable pieces, and turned that into valuable lessons. That experience could be research or the process of starting a nonprofit that they wanted to expand the mission of, or it could just be an emotional moment in their life. And I realized there wasn't some sort of magical formula that makes a person qualified enough to give a talk like this. Everybody has a story to tell. We all have something of value hidden within our own experiences to give to the world. And avenues like TEDx are not about being important enough to have something to say. They're about connecting with other people. I learned that when it comes to making that connection with others, it's not about how much you have to show, it's about the quality of the things you have to share. <laughs>